Hello everyone, I'm Erika Xu from Model 3D EMEA Customer Supporting. Today I'd like to show you the procedure of our e-design package on Model 3D Studio interface. Let's get started now. This is an overview of the all procedure. We'll show you how we start from building the model, mesh the geometry, selecting the material, set up the process, to uh, run the analysis and how to check the results. Before we get started, we have to create a new project. Just simply click on the new button and specify the name and the location of your new project. Then we will start from building the model. First, we will import the geometry of the part. Go to the model tab and import your geometry. And after the geometry is loaded into the project, we have to specify the attribute and set it as a part. Next, we're going to create a runner system. First, we will have to set up the gate. For this part, we will have to set up three gates. And then we will build the runner system with our wizard. We can change the dimension with the parameters. Next, we'll create the cooling system. First, we'll build the mold base. We can change the dimension of the mold base. And for example, the length and the width. And then we will create the cooling channel. Also, we can change the um, uh, layout by these parameters, such as the di diameters, number of the cooling channels, the distance between each cooling channels. After the system is done, we can do a quick check on all of them and see if there's any problem with it. After the check is done, we can go on to meshing. Go to the mesh tab and switch to e-design mode. Click on generate and set up your accuracy level of your mesh. Then after mesh done, we have to do a quick check on the mesh. After the mesh is done, we can go on to uh, set up our material. Go to the material and using the material wizard to select our material. Simply add the material you're going to use to your project. And you can close the wizard. Next, we have to set up the process condition. For a traditional injection molding, we have to set up the process condition of our filling, packing, and cooling. For example, the filling time, the flow rate, the injection pressure, and the packing pressure. For cooling, we have to set up uh, such as a cooling time, the mold open time, and on the summary page, we can have a quick check on all the process condition. Now we've finished selecting the material, we can go on to running the analysis. So before we uh, run the analysis, we have to select the analysis sequence. This is to decide which stages that you are gonna calculate in today. So for today's example, I'd like to only run um, filling and packing analysis. So here I select FP analysis. And uh, uh, for computation parameters, there are some advanced um, options. 
So, but today I'll go with the default value, so we're not gonna change anything here. And then we can click on run to start our analysis. So after we finish the analysis, we can go on to check the result. On the left hand side, we can see the result tree. We can check all the results uh, with the, some tools under the result tab. For example, we can check the mail from time with our animation tool. That's it for today's video. We can see that we can prepare the analysis in a very short time. We have a uh, wizard to help you build the cooling system, the runner system, and the mesh can be generated automatically. If you have any question, please leave below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.